When God showed me the key, I was asking him the meaning of that key. Most of us, we are sitting here, but our mind, our spirit is not here with us. <laughs> Most of us, we are here, but we are unconcerned. Anything that is going on in here. The sad thing is that when you get up, sorry, when you organize prayer meeting, they will not come. If you call them to come and eat, they will not come. So you sit down and you ask God, what is these people looking for when they come before you? The answer is many are called, but few are chosen. The fact that you are here doesn't mean that you are part of the kingdom. Yes, <clears throat> those who are part of the kingdom are those who are <coughs> part of the kingdom business. So, so if you are sitting here, and you are all concerned about the kingdom business, you are just telling God that you are not part of the kingdom. Mm. You are a spectator. Mm. And most of the time, the spectators, they cause the problem. So as God was talking to me, and I was asking him the key, what it means, what it showed me or made me understand is that the round table of that key that you have, I don't mean the common key that you have with so many cuts. Back home, that key that you normally have, you know that key? I don't have that. Uh, yeah, the long one, the long we are. You have it. Okay, can, please, can you give me so that this can understand? My message is going to be on two parts because last week I saw some of your members, they came here. Yeah, they came for baptism. So I'm here to encourage those who came for baptism and those who are being baptized already also to encourage you to move forward in the kingdom business. This is the key, such is the key that I saw. In the vision, I'm going to show you something that I will give the key back to the owner. And God was saying to me that He is this place. That's called Bo. He is here. The church is this, the stem or the shaft. And you, as an individual, you are the bit. The three things, that's what God showed me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I was asking, what's the meaning of that? God, you have shown you are the bow. The church is the stem. And we, as individuals, we are the big. So what is the meaning of our things? Quickly, we go to Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. Genesis 11 verses. If you want to quickly, you read it because of our time. Genesis 11 verse I'm reading from the book of version. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Amen. Amen. The King James said, nothing that they want to do that will be impossible for them. So if the church comes together, nothing that the church wants to do that will be impossible for us. Amen. 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 
So the theme for my message is the power of togetherness. The power of togetherness. God be the bow. And we as a church, when we come together, being the shaft or the stem. In John 15, verse 5, he said, Without me, you can do nothing. Without God, without Christ, you and I, when we come together, we can do nothing. Accept Him, and He alone can help us to accomplish whatever we are planning to do. So, when we take the ball from the key, it becomes difficult to turn. So without God, we cannot turn. The church cannot move. So when we get here and our presence is not attracting God to come in our midst, our prayer is going to be long and the resource is going to be short. So it's like you are working more, but you are receiving less. <laughs> because God is holding you on this earth. So whenever he leaves you, you become just like a chaff before the wind. So God being the ball of the key means that the church cannot do without him. The church cannot do without him. In Matthew 28, verse 20, he said, And I will be with you. I'm paraphrasing my verses because of time. It's not everything that I need. I will be with you always. Not sometimes. Not when it's a difficult time. But I will be with you always. Wherever the church have gathered in his name, he is in their midst. Yeah. So he said, I will be with you always. God has not a specific time that he wants to be with the church. But whenever the church we come together. So the Hebrews 10:25, he said, forsake not the gathering of the saints. Because whenever the saints gather, God is in their midst. So church, PRWC, if you are here, but you are not part of the kingdom, beloved, then you must be careful. Because either you like it or not, Christ will come. And even if Christ has not come yet, you will die. And if you die, you are going to face the judgment. So the point is, where then will you be sent to? Are you sending to Abraham? Or are you sending to the enemy that you fear when you do on the earth? I have come here this morning to encourage you and to warn you that if you are only here, then be part of the church. The church does not belong to any man. <coughs> Our chairman is not the owner of the church. Let me say it. I have said it. Wherever I stand, I will say it. Because right. I, I, I preach the word of God, not philosophies of men. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I preach the word of God. Our chairman is part of the church, but he's not the owner of the church. The church belongs to Christ. He is the foundation of the church. So the Bible says we should be careful, those who are continuing, that we will lay the bricks accordingly, but not in any other way. So if you want to look at men in the church and how people are behaving, if you're not careful, somebody will take you out. But the sad thing will be that this person will bring you out and later will change his mind or her mind yes. to be part of the church. Yes. Then you, you've lost. Yes, 
So if you are part of the church, let God know from your heart that you are part of the church. Amen. Because in God's family, everybody is important. So you can't sit here and people will look at you and think that for you, nothing good can come from Nazareth. No. There's something in you that makes you special from everybody. Amen. 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 Your tongue print is not the same as the people who are sitting here. So it makes you different. That's how God created you. God created you that you should come on earth and be by peculiar from any other person. Don't compare your life to any other person because you and that person is not the same. It's my prayer that today, before you leave here, you know your position in the church. Amen. And begin to take your path very serious because it's a, the, when we gather here, it's a chain that we form. If one is damaged, it will affect the whole chain. So just one archive in our midst can stop the whole prayers that we have. Just one that. If you are part of the church, then know that you are ambassador of Christ. You are ambassador of Christ. According to John 21, John 20, verse 23, he said what? You can give people their sin. You sitting here, yeah. But uh, let me say to my sister that I forgive you your sin. And see how people will complain. Who are you to tell her that you forgive her? But meanwhile, it's written in the Bible. It's written in the Bible. When Jesus was here on earth, sometimes if he's going to heal somebody, he said, Your sin is forgiving you. Go. That's the healing. And he came to show us the way. He came to show us the way. But why we not practicing the way that he came to show us? Because according to John 14, 12, he said, He who ever believes in me, the ways I did, was that what? The same. The same. No any other way. That exactly what he came to do. So if Christ came to forgive people's sin, and now he's going. He leaves the church for me to take care of the church. And he said, now you also, you can forgive people their sins or even maintain their sins. And so heaven will hold according to your word. But if the, let me practice that in the church and we hear. Now that mercy is forgiving people's sin. <laughs> you see, our leaders have made us to understand things that they thought that they are bringing us up to help us in our business, but they didn't help us. They made some of us to disbelieve the word of God. The Bible says in, uh, I think, John 1.25, he said, there are many things Christ did that was not recorded in the Bible. There are many things that Christ did that was not recorded in the Bible. So, the instructions that was given to us that you should lay your hands on the sick people and they will be get healed. If an person goes to somebody and steps somebody's foot and says be healed, the next day we hear it in the city that he's using to do. But Tell me, you know, sometimes when I, I come to the house of God, I see that the misunderstanding of the word of God is too much in the church. <coughs> the Bible is saying that there are many things that Christ did that was not written in the Bible. So, what Edakwasi is doing, perhaps he's using 
Christ's name, then it must work. It must work. Even though know, I can't show it in the Bible that Christ stepped on somebody's foot, does not mean that also that is not in the Bible. So there are things that in the beginning, when they saw people who were led by the Holy Spirit to do them, they would be complaining. So we that came after, it has put in fear on us. Ah, this thing, if you go and do this thing right now, you will hear your name. And Africans are very much afraid of witches. So the only thing that they will say is using witches, witchcraft, or wizard to do those things. Meanwhile, the Bible has given us authority as a church to operate in the level of Christ. God, the power he gave to Christ is the same power that he has given to us. So Paul said, if the spirit that brought Christ alive from death, is, that spirit is living in you, it will quit your mortal so the same spirit that Christ was using now is dwelling in you. Amen. So Christ said, the work that I came to do, you, if you believe, you will do the same thing. Amen. If God was going to give us a different spirit, then Christ will not make that reference. Then Christ will not make that reference because the spirit he was doing, he was using to do that, those ways are different from the spirit that you are going to receive. Therefore, you can't do what he did. But if the church has been given the same spirit, then it means that when the church will we come together,